we have to become critical thinkers. I think um, the American school system has been pushing the robot system. I think that's why I didn't do well in school, because I wasn't like that. You know, I was a free thinker, I was a free willer. You know, I wanted to uh, trailblaze. You know, I wanted to go some paths that only a few people would ever went down. Uh, and by me being different, uh, the school labeled me as, as, as dumb. If somebody would have told me when I was 18 and a half that I was gonna become a drug kingpin, I would have thought they was crazy. Uh, life is like that. You know, one day you can be here and the next day you could be over there. Well, you know, it's always good when you can help somebody else, you know, to, to be able to help is the best feeling in the world. And when the idea came to me to write this book, I was trying to figure out how could I get back to society. And uh, I tried to form this book where people could take this book, read it, and understand the drug game better. There was a lot of things I could have handled differently. I made a lot of mistakes. Uh, sometimes I did things right, not to know that I was doing it right. Uh, so absolutely, there was a lot of uh, moments in here that, that I see, you know, uh, that I did it totally wrong. But I was lucky that it didn't kill me and it didn't send me to prison uh, for the rest of my life. I'm really happy with myself right now. Um, I think that everything I've been through in my life prepared me for what I'm doing right now. I've been able to adapt well in my life. Uh, I've been able to go from being a tennis player to a drug dealer, uh, from a drug dealer to a lawyer, and right now, I feel like I'm a philanthropist, I'm a motivational speaker. For me, the world is just wide open. You know, I feel like I can do anything in the world that I want to do right now. All I have to do is put my mind to it. I can go as far as I want to go.